Salam alaikum and uh, hello to everyone. Uh, so we are going to proceed, uh, continue with the lecture for the coding. So for today's lecture, we are going to learn about how how to write, start to write the codes and uh, the the syntax that you can you are going to use uh, when writing on the Easy CCAK. So there, there are lots of instructions and syntax, but uh, we need to understand how you want to write it and how you are going to interpret it and understand what it's doing. Okay, so um, basically, the basic one, each of the instructions, right? We have, because we have so many instructions anyway. So I'm going to shut it out. Uh, so in the instructions that we have right so we are going to divide it to four uh, sections one we call it label the second one we call it operation code the third one we call it all prime and the last one is the comment so this is normally uh, the sections where you want to start to write a line of code okay how, how it works eh, basically so this is uh, the 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 pattern or the format of the code that you're going to write. Maybe you don't have the comment. This is not really an, uh, uh, a must stuff. The, the, the most important thing is how, how you want to write the code here and it's operand. So what is label? Label is a representation of an instruction. So you can label is just like a variable. So you can just put names over there and this is going to be part of the uh, program where you want to refer back. So normally it's used for the subroutine. So if you have a subroutine, right, the, the label is very important because the system know where it's going to jump in the program. Then you have the operation code or we call it the op code. This is the operation that you need to perform. It consists of mnemonic code and it can operate either in, in byte size or word and low word of data. So you you you, you <coughs> You have to go back to this uh, byte words and long word. Whereas byte is 8 bit of size, word is uh, 16 bit of size, and the last one is long word is 32 bit in size. And then uh, you have the operand, which is consists of source and destination. So this is they call it uh, the the source effective address normally and then it has the other one we call it destination effective address so you have your source <coughs> then you have your destination and then the last one they call it comments where you can put a semicolon over there and then you can come up with a comment this is not an uh, a must uh, this is just like for you to put the notes uh, at the back of your syntax at the last <coughs> at the same line so this is uh, uh, the inst the instruction the instruction structure. So you have the label, <coughs> you have the op code, and then you have the operand, which is the source effective address over here, and you have the destination, and final one you have the comment. So this one is the uh, machine code. When you compile this line, <coughs> when you compile it, right, it will generate this one. But each of the instruction with has will has a different uh, instruction structure. So uh, we are not going to talk about this one first. We are going to learn how to write the code one by one. Okay, let me take on this one first. Okay, now uh, let's move on. This is example of an instruction code where you want to move a word size from a source of D7 going to the destination to D0. This is the contents will be going here. So in today's lecture, we are going to play with the code of moving, which is the one that we have. Uh, this is quite a basic uh, instruction. You need to understand how to move all the data from the data registers or to address registers or to the memory. That's it. That you have, you will see a different types of syntax, but the, this syntax is actually is going to move the data from somewhere to somewhere, which is from the source to destination. 
So you can look another example of code. This is a sub. Uh, this is aromatic, which is you are going to add the destination and the source. This is source and destination. So you have this one. This one is the opcode, right? Just now. This is the opcode. And then you have the operand over here. Label is not a must because label normally used for the subroutine. And then this is comments normally for you to jot down your notes if you want if you don't want to forget what you're doing. So we we are then we have another example here. This is another opcode. And then this is the operand. For this case, there's only one operand over here. There's no source and destination. So a bit different because of the uh, uh the the command is only to clear the word size in this area okay then the rest so uh the instructions of 68k the instruction of 68k can be classified into eight groups so for today lecture we are going to talk about the data transfer only and there are a lots of syntax that you need to learn for this data transfer so data transfer relates to move command okay so let's move okay uh, let's see so so data transfer group contains instruction that transfer data from okay from memory to register register to register and register to memory so you remember that when i taught you guys about the cpu you have the memory outside here so you can send the data out to the memory and you can get the data from the memory and you also can play around the data from between the registers inside the cpu so that is the instructions doing okay so over here i'm not going to touch everything but we are going to look at the move data here the move address here and the load effective over here uh, maybe i'm going to touch a few things about the move quick and swap this one a bit later so i'm going to make it as a blue in color and then you have the exchange register is, is possibly I'm going to touch this one but the most important uh, syntax that we have to learn is about all these things about move okay so that is for the data transfer okay now move on arithmetic I'm going, not going to touch it later so I'm going to just uh, direct to the uh, lecture for today so let's look at the move instruction set so before that uh, we, they're going to have a revision on the addressing not revision this is a, the, the new terms that uh, you're going to learn for today so the main objective of addressing modes is to identify the locations of the operand that will be operated on by in this structure so if you go back to the pattern on the syntax here you have the operand over here so the addressing mode is the one that's going to find the location where is your source of effect, effective address and also where is your destination of effective address that is what is addressing modes all about okay so let's go back to the part the slides again so uh, addressing modes is the mechanism used to compute the operand address it is used to determine how the CPU attain the effective address because the CPU need to find the locations what is the address for the effective address for it to operate okay the effective address is the actual address used by in by the instruction so this is the address that is going to be used by the instruction so I'm going to show you the example then you, you may understand later so this is just a term the addressing modes okay so addressing modes also play important roles even to the instruction set if there is no effective address. Therefore, there's no action can be done to the data. Uh, anyway, um, there are 14 different addressing modes available in the 68K. Uh, 
So this is a table. So there are around 14 just now, right? 14 different decimals. So this is the one that we are going to play around when you play with the code. Okay. So this is the, the table for it for data register direct. This is a sin, SMB syntax. And then this is the address generation for the effective address. So let's uh, just move to the example on the first one. The first one, they call it data register direct. So this is data register direct. What does it mean? Data register direct means the data register is inside your CPU. Remember that the data register you have from D0 to D7 and the size is 32 bit. This will be a 32 bit. Okay, so this is saying that you are going to move the data between the data here inside the registers only. So the source and destinations are data registers. That's very clear. The operand size can be either byte, word, or long word. So you can transfer the data in byte size or in word or long word. And it does not involve any memory access. It does not involve the memory outside there. So it between here. The, the transfer of the data is just between in here. So this is the command. You can see that this is the one that the pattern just now in the table. So if you look at the table here, it's just this data register direct. You can see that SMB syntax is DN and the effective generation code is around DN. So it's about data register. It can be what register that you want to move. And this is related to only data register. So let's play with the code. You can open up your easy CCAK. Okay, this is your easy CCAK. I'm going to play, I'm going to write down the first code over there so you can remove this one. And you can remove this one. Okay, by default, by default, if you execute, there's nothing inside your register. So if there's nothing, so how can I move something, right? Because there's nothing. So it doesn't work. So what should I do is, is I have to put a value in one of the registers and then we try to move it around over here. So let's look at the example here. There's the movement from D0 to D2. So I have to put something in D0 and then you can see it move later to D2. So how to put a data inside a register you can just write this command move dot long which is a whole 32 bit in size you must put hash and then you have put dollar sign for the hexa number so i'm going to put any numbers for example i just like to put a a b b c c d d so i just put a a b b c c d d this is all 32 bit can done, then you are going to move it to D0, comma, D0. So this is a common, you can put a value inside a register. So let's uh, run this one first and look at the results. Here, the code is not yet executed. So you can execute by hitting this button line one by one. So now you are looking at the D0 register, there's nothing here. So this command is doing move.long a b b c d d0. Okay, so let's look at the results here. See, you can see that the value here a a b b c c d d is moved to d0. So this is a command already been executed. Okay, so this is how you want to push a value because this is a hash over here. This is a value that you are going to put inside D0. Okay. Other than that, what you can see here is the machine code. Sorry, this is the machine code. And this is the data that is going to be pushed to D0. So this is a machine code to move a long word size, which is a uh, data to D0. This is 203C, the one that is generated after it's compiled, being compiled. And this is the hex value. OK, 
okay, which is reserved at 1000 because of the origin is at 1000. Okay, so let's move on. So now you can see that this, this command is also a move command, which is to put something in, something registers. And now I want to move something here by doing the data register direct, which is move dot long d0 to d2. So this command is uh, saying that it want to move the value from d0 to d2 in long word size. So means long word, which is mean that all 32 bits will be moved from d0 to d2. So all 32 bits is all over here, will be moved to d2. Move, which is, which is actually a copy from d0 to d2. So let's run the code. So you just run the first line and the D0 already been inserted with the AABBCCDD and now the next command is to move dot long D0 to D2 D0 to D2 so just hit another time another one this one and then you can see that D2 is already being copied from AABBCCDD so this is move the whole thing from D0 to D2. Let's try to play with a smaller size of maybe the word size. So for the word size, it's not going to take all because the word size is only 16 bit. And then you must know that the last 16 over here is going to be moved to D2. <coughs> so let's run here. Then you are going to trace it then you have the D0 already inserted. Then look at the results here for D2. You can see that only word size being <coughs> copied to the new registers. You can play with the last one, going to be byte only. So byte is only 8 bit in size, so means that only two digits from here will be copied to D2. So let's run it. Okay, so this one is uh, moving to D0 and then you have the command move that byte to from D0 to D2. So this is going to be the one being copied to D2. See, so that's the results. So that's the uh, uh, results of uh, moving long word size, word size or byte size between the registers. <coughs> so this is example of it. And the add.l is another one, but this is uh, for the arithmetic version. There will be another topic will be covered. I'm going to uh, concentrate on the movement first. But the thing here is the results, I mean, uh, the, the source destinations and the, the operand. Uh, the operand is uh, the one that's using only data register direct. So it means that it involves only the data registers inside the CPU. Okay, you can see that this is how it works. This is the RTL form and this is what is actually happen when you execute the line. So this is a data register direct. Okay, let's move on to the second one. The second one, they call it address register direct. So what is address register direct? The destination must be an address register. So if you go back to the CPU again, the CPU you have also, you do also have the address register from A0 to A7 and the size is also 32 bit. So when you have the syntax right, the destination for the address register direct means that you're going to move a data to the address register. Means that the destination must be an address register. The destination must be address register. That is one of the rules. The second rule is the size of the operand permitted are word and only long word. This one or W. Byte is not allowed for the address register direct. If you put this one, then your syntax cannot be right. 
So for the case of word, when you use the word size versus the long word size, if there's the long word size you move to the address register, there is no issue at all because you're going to copy the whole 32 bit to the new register so the address register and just to make you guys uh, clear on that for the address register in direct register re register direct it must have this one move a just now we just have the move now we own now for the address register direct you must have the move a dot something okay so what is hap what happened when you use the word size when you want to transfer to the address register Okay, when the operand is in word length, the higher half of the destination will be loaded with sign extended value. So what is this? Let's look at what happened. Okay. Okay, for example now you have the word size move a dot w uh, let's say for example view d2 to a0 inside d2 there is a value of 2002 let's let's put a full one let's put a full one D, D0 is given as 20026002 Okay, this is the full contents of the register So right now what happened is When you move a word size from D2 to A0 Because this is the address register It must comply with the address uh, address pins outside there because it must uh, it, it must follow that one because it might okay the thing is it must use the uh, uh, sign extend rules okay for example here when you are using the word size over here means that this is going to be move or copied from D2 to A0 so 6002 we will copy it to A0 but the thing is, because of using word size, it must use the sign extend rule. Sign extend rule say that it will check again. So the definition of sign extend rule is when operand is in word size, the higher half of the destination address register will be loaded with sign extended value. So the higher half is this one. Another four digits on the top. So this is the lower half. And this is a high half, high. Okay, so what you should do is sign extend rule. You must look at the MSB for this one. MSB for the first one. If the MSB is equivalent to one, means that all this one will be converted to one. All will be one, one, one. Okay, if the MSB is equivalent to zero. So all the value here will be zero 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 zero. Okay, so for this example, let's look at the results here. So six, you have to convert it to heck, to binary numbers back. So this one going to be four digits zero one one zero. The MSB is equivalent to zero. So it means that the whole higher part. The half part of it will be converted to zero. So you only have another four digits for zero. So they will be like this dollar sign zero 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 six zero zero two. So that is the value will be copied to a zero. Let's look at another example. If I'm going to change it, not six, I'm going to have it maybe eight. Now look at the result. If I'm going to move a word size dollar sign eight zero zero two, okay. Let's look at the MSB for eight. MSB for eight will be one 
zero zero zero. So this is the MSB is equal to one. So you are going to have another four digits over here must going to be higher state. So you have <coughs> you have to be one 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 is equivalent to F. One 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 is equivalent to F. One 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 is equivalent to F. And the last one will be also the same thing if going to F. So the final answer will be dollar sign F F F F eight zero zero two. So let's uh, try on your easy sixty eight K. Okay, now look at this one. We are going to put first at D zero. Then we are going to have the common for move address to A zero from D0 to A0. So now the command is move A, byte is not allowed. Let's try, is it got a problem or not? See, got a problem. You cannot run it because the rules for address register direct, it must has word size or long, long word. So let's try to put word. So there's no problem. So we're going to execute this one. So run one by one so this is the first comment then you can see that this is a uh, copy off to this zero now the command is move address by using a word size from this one to a zero so you're going to look at the a zero here so now the command is ccdd this is word size ccdd so the word size is ccdd Now is dollar sign C C D D C. So what is the uh, binary for it? C for hexa. Then you change it to binary. This is the value one one zero zero. So one one zero zero. So now your MSB is equal to one. So means that the whole higher part will be all F because all F is equivalent to one 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 dollar sign. So let's look at the results in your easy 68 k Look here, it's not yet uh, executed. So let's look at the results. So you can see that now it had been signed extend. Okay, let's change it to another value which is going to be zero for the MSB. So I just want to put here two. Let's run it again. Secure. So run one by one, and you're going to look at here. See, so you can see that the higher part of it is zero because two. Okay, two for the MSB is equal to zero zero one zero. The MSB is zero, so it means that the rest will be zero. For the case of long word, there's no problem if you want to put long word. Means. You're going to take the whole thing over here inside the D0 and then convert and then push copy over to A0. So let's look at the results. D0 now, then you're going to copy the whole contents in D0 going to A0. A0 now is going to be copied. All value from AABB to CDD. Okay, that's the second syntax. This is address register direct. Okay, next one. This is the example. Okay, I'll teach you uh, how to do this one by one, one. Wait, I just want to give you an example this one, okay? The example is move address dot w a0 a2. So let's look at the command again. a0 to a2. So now it's a0 to a2. The content is not yet there. Okay. So it's given the value for A0 is given this one and A2 is given this one. So you have to know that how you want to put the value inside this uh, address register. So I thought you just now you can put a value prior to the execution of the command. You can just put hash dollar sign for A0 is 00006800 to A0. And then you can do again move dot long hash dollar sign one 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 to a two. 
okay so you can compile this one then execute it then you look at the result this is going to be to a0 this is to one six eight zero zero and then you're going to move this one and another one to a2 so the prior condition of the of the question is already been set up so right now the command that you want to execute is move address the w to a0 to a2 so i'm going to change it to not from l and this is going to be w so this is going to be w a0 to a2 so execute it then you can see the result is what this is going to be copied to a0 a2 now move address w only w is 6800 going over here so remember that this is going to be a sign extend rules 6 the msb is 0 so the result is 0 0 0 0 6 8 0 0 so you can do the same example by using the code here so every time you are you write the code you can save and you can do something another code you can save so many codes that so make sure that you can understand how to write the code <coughs> so this is the example for address register direct then we move this is also you can try this is all the example and then this is another example this is add this is add this is going to be in aromatic but it's okay at the moment and then uh, this is the exercise i think you, you can try the exercise uh, by using your own calculations or by using the uh, ac68k okay so let's move on and then the next one the third one you have the address register indirect so what does it mean so this command okay i just I have to remove this one first this command now is going to move the value to the memory locations so you have to remember again and again that we have the cpu here and then you have the memory outside here this is your memory so the address register indirect means ari so the address register which is inside your cpu here this is your address register from a0 to s7 this the content inside the address register will hold the address of the memory location that contains the operand data so the value here inside your address register is the one that pointing to the location at your memory with the same address for example your a0 address register is giving us like for example like for example here 06 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4 so means that the value inside your address register is the one the address is the address here at the memory so that is the value of the address then you are going to take the value inside this address and then you can play or you want to do whatever that you want the value inside the memory is the one that you want to going to take the value inside here this one is containing the address and the data is at the address the one that you want to do something okay so how you want to write the syntax the obvious part is you are going to put a bracket for your address register so just now the example here you don't have any bracket here right so it means that if there's no bracket for example this one this is relates to the address register inside your cpu so when you have the bracket the bracket here you are moving the bracket something bracket to somewhere you are going to take the value the value outside at the memory with the an value location and this is the one that is going to be moved up okay let's look at the example here okay now you can see that move dot by bracket a0 to d7 
So this command is telling us that we are not going to take the value inside the A0 because this is given A0, the content is this one. Not this value is going to be moved to this happen. Not this value. But this value is the value that you have to find at the memory location, which is example here. This is the location of 7F00. The content is 13. Remember that each other memory is only 8 bit in size. So that's why you have two digits over here, dollar sign 13. Okay, dollar sign 13. So this is 7F00, 7F01, 7F02, 7F03. So this is a uh, the content that it has so the value here is going to be what 7f01 is this value will be moved to d7 d7 will be getting this value at the last one here okay let's try to do this one in your easy 68 k okay now you have the default content this is the, the content that before you execute so now you have the d7 the value is one two three let's say try to put this one oops sorry okay d7 here move something to d7 and you want to move something also to a0 okay Move 1, 2, 3, 4, F, E, D, C. 1, 2, 3, 4, F, E, D, C to D7. You're going to put the value first before you execute this line. So then you have move dot long, this one, 0, 0, 0, 0, 7, F, 0, 1. And then this is the contents group for the A0. And then you have your command, which is uh, move.py bracket a0 to d7. So this is a command that you're going to put the contents at a0 location will be moved to d7 in byte size. <coughs> but in this example, in that particular location at 7F00, you have this value. So if you compile this one, you compile this one, not help. you compile this one, and then you view the memory location at 7F00, you have to go to the 7F00, 7F00. You can see that there's nothing here. All F, 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 right? This does not match this one. It must have this 13, A, A, 56, and F, A. So how to put that value inside here? So you can try another method, which is by using the define constant. Okay, what you can do is, so this is your program, right? At origin 1000 is your program. So you want to put the value at 7F00. What you can do is you are going to put origin again dollar sign 7f00 and then after this command you are going to define the constant at that particular location you can define constant dot long dollar sign the value will be 13 aa 56 and FA. You are going to follow this value. This value. This is the value that before you execute the line. So you have this command already. It means that this command is going to insert the value at 7F00 starts with this value. So 7F00 will have in this one. 7F01 will be having this one. 7F02 will have this value and 7F03 will have this value. So is it correct? So let's run and execute this command again. Let's look at the view of the memory at 7F00. So now you can see that 
Now your code already have 13 AA56 and FA which is the same one for this example. So you have 13 here, 7F00 is 13, 7F01 is AA, 7F02 is 56 and 7F03 is FA. So this command is so correct. Now you are going to put the value at D7 and now you are going to put the value at A0. D7 and A0 already being put the value. Now the command for the address register indirect is to take the value from the memory from this location. A0 is given as the address. So 7F01 now is the address where you have to go and take the value. So go back to the memory, look at 7F01. 7F01 must be AA, right? So this is 7F00 is 13. 7F01 is AA. So you are going to take byte size. Byte size means only 8 bit of size. Going to take and put at D7. So D7 here now is this number. So you have to put the value of AA to this D7. So let's run this comment. You can see that now is AA. Okay, so let's try another one. Let's move. Okay, let's move, not move the byte. Let's try to move uh, word size. Is it okay to move word size? Let's try. From A0 to D7. There's no problem now at the moment. So 7F01, we have to take word size 7F01. Okay, 7F01 is starting from here. The word size should be AA and 56 because word size is going to be 16 bit in size. So it should be AA and at 56 going to be copied to the D7. So let's put the value first. This one, this one. Now the command is going to take the W from A0 location and then copy it to D7 in word size. D7 is here. Now it's FEDC. Hopefully, you can take AA56 going to be the last 4 here. So, that's problem. Uh, because of, because of, you are not allowed to put or copy word from the address of odd value. For example, just now, this is A0 is 7F01. It should be an even address. So, let's try at 2. Okay, let's try through a 2. It's a problem here. Execute again. Okay, now if you are going to move to 2, this is not going to be AA anymore. It should be 56 and FA. This is the one going to be word size. So let's put on by 1 first. D7 there. A0 is here. So now move the W. A0 to D7. A0 is this one. A0. A0 going to be 7F02, this one, 56FA. Hopefully, it's going to change this one. So, now it had copied 56 and FA in word size to D7. This is correct. Okay, this is the example where you can put the value for D7 and you can put A0. And then this is a comment just now I taught you guys how to put a value inside the memory by using this command. When you want to put the value inside any of the memory location, you must know that where do you want to start to put, this is example 7F00, this is the first line of the memory. So you're going to put 13AA56FA. So this is going to be dollar sign 13AA56FA. So it's going to take two digits on each of the memory because you remember that the memory is 8-bit in size. Okay, so you need to move again. Now, this is address register indirect. This is how it works theoretically, but you can validate it by using the EZ68K. And then you have also this one also. Uh, let me remove the, the handwritings. Again, you can do this one. This command is a bit different. Not like the one that we have just now. This is actually a, a vice versa. You have the register first, then you are going to the memory location. So let's try this one. 
the value that you need to put is to d4 so i can use d4 here then this one a6 then you have the value 1 2 3 4 e e to 2 e to 2 the value for a6 is uh, 5 uh, 5002 to a6 and then the value at the 5000 location is this value so you have to change this one to 5000 and then you have to put the value is 14 ef dd a the command here is move.w d4 to a6 d4 a6 the command say that you are going to move a value from a data register inside the value at the memory this is a bracket so the, the locations of the memory is based on a6 a6 is at 5002 so if you look at this value <coughs> if you look at this example right so this is the value before you execute the line and the contents of the memory is 14 EF DDAA. So what does that mean over here? D4 words. So from D4, D4 is given by this one. So the words will be EE22. This is the value for the word size. Going to copy to A6 in bracket pointing to 5002. So when you execute the line, the value EE22 will be copied to this location at 5002. So you can see that it starts here, 5002, because of the memory is only 8 bit in size, it only can allocate EE only, and 22 will be allocated on the next memory value. So this is EE22 will be copied from 5002, then move to 5003. It's going to take two digits only. So how how to to uh, to to prove this one? You just uh, run this one and then. You look at the value of your memory, 5000, go to 5000 location. So you can see that this is a by default 14 EF DD and AA. So run by one, run by run one by one. So this is going to insert value to D4, then to A6. Now the command is going to move dot W D4 to A6. D4 is taken from data register here. EE22 move to A6. A6 now pointing to 5002. 5002 is this location. This is 5000, 5001, 5002, and 5003. So this is the location for word size. So you are going to look at this value to be changed after this command is being executed. Sorry. Now you can see that the word size of EE22 is being copied over to the locations of 5002. EE here and 22 here. So this is the command being executed for vice versa. Just now, before this, we have the bracket at the front and now you have the bracket at the back. Means that you are going to write the value at the memory. Just now it's copied from the memory. Now it's going to write to the, to the memory. Then you can try uh, the, uh, the example here. Uh, I think I'm going to stop for this four first and then we're going to move to that one uh, another video. So let's try uh, your 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 assessment later. Thank you very much.